to the 1970s, the wastewater and sewage from the city of Edinburgh, a population of about half a million people, discharged untreated into the river behind us here. In the late 1970s, a major treatment works was built at Seafield uh, on the northern boundary of Edinburgh to deal with the sewage from the community. Following on from that major project, many smaller projects were commissioned with pumping stations and interceptor sewers linking up all the various districts and communities around Edinburgh to pump the sewage to treatment in the new treatment works. As a young graduate engineer, I was involved in the design and supervision of construction on site of many of these interlinked projects. It involved major reinforced concrete, construction of pumping stations, interceptor, sewers and tunnels, the tunnels being particularly interesting. One of the projects that I was involved in to the far end of Edinburgh, at Preston Pans pumping in towards the treatment works. And then finally, one of the last links in this whole Edinburgh scheme was here at Cramond. Particularly difficult scheme because of the environmental issues, uh, both archeological as well. It's the site of a Roman fort. We had archaeologists on site when we first started the excavation to ensure that there was nothing interested in covered. The pumping station here uh, serving this community, it also has the, the treatment of a large part of the storm overflows from the whole of the western part of Edinburgh, which discharge now through major screens and down the outfall, which goes down across the beach here through the island you see in the distance and discharging on the north end of the island out into the deep water. The construction work for this particular pumping station at Cramond within the uh, on the boundaries of the conservation village uh, there was in the order of 5,000 cubic meters of excavated material to be removed amounting to approximately 650 lorry loads of the material going up through the narrow roads of the village. There was a lot of liaison with the, the residents to ensure minimum disruption and equally when we were constructing the, the structure, something like in the order of 1,750 cubic meters of concrete was to be replaced, um, about 300 lorry loads of concrete coming down through the village. It was a very big, deep construction work, um, a lot of temporary works involved, very challenging especially due to the location. We talked to Scottish Natural Heritage, we talked to Historic Scotland, all the other interested bodies to try and get uh, buy-in from everybody and at the end of the day uh, we've got a, a treatment facility that fits very neatly uh, with minimum disruption to the community. It's now blended almost totally into the background up on the hillside behind there. Um, most people don't even know it exists. As a civil engineer, I feel quite uh, proud uh, of the benefits that I've been able to bring to the community. There are now bathing quality waters on some of the beaches around here. And I think it's been major civil engineering work which have delivered massive benefits for the community at large. Close on 38 years now working in civil engineering from a graduate up to a senior chartered engineer. Um, it's been a very, very interesting career, lots of challenges, um, all, all sorts of challenges, all sorts of structures to build, um, holes to dig, things to build. It's, uh, I can thoroughly recommend it as a career for anybody interested in the building, building a future for the community, building benefits for the community. Um, and it, it is honestly, it's a very worthwhile, interesting career and I certainly could thoroughly recommend it.